my line. Vision. Vision, pull the lines up. Simon, get the lines up. Come on. You got one last week. You come. Everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And today I am with Captain Cody Dunn. What's up? And Captain Cody Dunn, he works for Sea Star Base. And one of the programs they offer at Sea Star Base is on Tuesdays. Yeah, they they offer like a fishing clinic, uh, fish for a day, and you come out to Sea Star Base and you come out and fish. It's for kids that are virtual learning or homeschool. They also have some summer camps that are coming up as well. So if you're interested in that, in the description part below there is a link. You can check it out. And yeah, so we're gonna we're actually not fishing at Sea Star Base. We're gonna take one of their boats out. Now you can book a trip. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm guiding now. All right. So. so you can book a trip, and Captain Cody will guide will guide you on a trip through Sea Star Base. So, like I said, if you're interested, all the links for that stuff is below. And these guided trips, right? So, Sea Star yeah. Base is a nonprofit organization. So, on these guided trips, what is what so, does that money go? So. Normally you'll pay a guide and it goes towards, you know, his truck payment, his house payment or whatever. But when you pay me the $500 to take you out to the JDs to catch bull reds, black drum, sheep's head, trout, whatever, the money goes back towards a kid's free summer camp. So you'll be like uh, sponsoring a child basically with the money. So it's almost like a donation to our, you know, kids that, with, uh, that are needy, I guess you could say. So uh, yeah, yeah. If you uh, you hire me, uh, your money goes towards the kids' summer camp. Can't beat that. Nope, you can't beat that at all. No. It, all right. So wish us luck. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, we will be able to get these kids on some fish. And uh, so stay tuned. Do you feel it? Yeah. Do you feel it? Do you, yeah. do you, do you pull it? You pull it and see if there's a fish on. Sometimes it could be, it could be that shrimp flipping and running for his life. <laughs> do you feel anything? Uh, no. Yeah. Sometimes it could be the, the shrimp running, you know, flicking and running. <laughs> He's trying to... Uh, all right, so we were planning to hit the jetties and try to get these kids on some big black drum, maybe even a red. But because of the fog, we wanted to play it safe. We wanted to stay close to the yacht basin. So we just went down a little ways and we're gonna try to hook up to some of those flounder that are hopefully starting to start trickle in right now. I'm keeping my eye out for it because when they do start coming out, I'm gonna be back out there hooking up. Okay, so after several hours spending here, we got into some small little sand trout and some little croaker, and we were just getting really hit hard by some pinfish. So we wanted to change gears up a little bit. We wanted to go hit some deeper water, hit some strong current, and see if we can get one of these kids on a big ugly. So what are you doing, Cody? Well, I uh, peeled the shell off the crab, cut him in half, fresh crab, he was alive. Now he's not alive. and. Uh, gonna hook him through uh, one of his legs that's one of the harder parts where we won't lose uh, the crab to the current because we've got a really strong current right here Say it again yeah so we're in pretty strong current here so I, I took all the legs off of it so it, it doesn't plane out so if you have all the legs all the shell and all that stuff the, the crab the water is going to catch the crab kind of like an airplane and okay. it's going to come up in the water column if you don't have enough weight so I made it a smaller crab, so I just downsized it so it'll stay on the bottom. What size hook are you using? Uh, that's a that's probably a six aught uh, Gamagatsu. No, that's a demon. Um, that's a demon hook. Okay. That is. Mustad. So, demon. Mustad. Line, line. Okay. Vision. Right. Okay. 
Sorry. Fish on. Pull the lines up. Simon, get the lines up. Come on. Yeah, you got one last week. You come and get this. Get the lines up. Good. Don't let it wrap up. Hey, what I tell you, man? On. You better hang on. This is a big one. <laughs> you got to hang on. There's just no way you're going to get in if you don't. <laughs> All right, reel these lines in. Lines here. Simon, get it. Line here. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just real slowly. Pull up. Yeah. How's that head? <laughs> That's a head shake. Does that feel good? <laughs> the big ugly on. He's bigger than you, I think, but. Black drum, aka big ugly, because when you look at their face, you got to kiss them on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> My lips. Mm hmm We got the big ones. Right, like right. last last five minutes of being out here and you hooked yeah, up. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Oh. It is actually this is the way it's it was last time. time too. We yeah. saw the leader, so we still catch the catch. <laughs> Go, bud. Right, Woo -hoo -hoo. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you it's feel them? Right is that now. is that the biggest fish you've had on? Why? <laughs> it's a huge one. It's a big one. <laughs> We're getting her done. He needs to be able to crank. <laughs> Get her done. Help it's him crank. A giant. <laughs> it's a giant. Cut God's up. Slow down. Alright, now reel down. You getting tired? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I felt that's why the I felt like current too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the current. I mean, the current's no joke. On this side to net the fish. You know, I mean, always always get on this other side. What Sign of the rod. <laughs> oh, pull, it yeah. pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. Right, so At the leader. Can you bury it like in your hip? And then pull up. Yeah, that's how I do my experience. Is that good? Does that hurt? Hang on. Where's your butt at? I saw you had it earlier. It's hanging on your... There you go. You got it. There you go. Now it feels good. Pull up slow, then reel down. Pull up slow. Reel down. Don't let, don't let slack happen. Just pull up steady. Yeah. Reel down. There you go. Perfect, perfect. You want to reel faster than you're letting your rod tip down. Come on. Oh, there he is. Red fish. Is a red? Oh, it's a big old black drum. Oh, is that a red fish? That's a black drum. Yeah. Man, he has a he has very red you to him though. Look at that. You see your boy pulling that up? That fun? You see your boy pulling that up? That's awesome. Birthing a baby, <laughs> you're waiting so long to see what you got. Yeah, uh, babies aren't as ugly as this. Oh. You see, you want to try to hold it? Here, so put your hands out like that, both of them out, and I'm gonna sit him. And you have to hold nope, it. No, nope. you're gonna be challenged. Look at that. So that look look something hit him right here. Yeah, so that's probably probably about 27, maybe 28 inch, uh, 20, yeah. 27, 28 year old fish. In Isn't that huge? Let me get a picture. Are you good? <laughs> that's your biggest fish. Oh yeah. Ever. <laughs> every, every. Uh -huh. So how does it how does it feel? How does it feel bringing that kind of fish in? Crazy. Does it feel crazy? Do we have that skinny, the, the skinny Rapala knife? Still? I got one. I got one. Here. Why is he bleeding? Oh, yeah. He just had a big fat hook in his head. Yeah, a little bit of, but it wasn't bad. See, so, hearing drumming? Yeah. yeah. You hear him? This is called a black drum. So, we're going to vent him, so move a couple scales out of the way. Maybe. There it is. Wow. Gosh. There it is. Hear it? Wow. Hear the air coming out? Yeah. See, he's sick. When he has that air in his stomach, you poke the hoe in him, and all that air goes out. And then now he can go down. If you don't, wow. if you don't take that air out, he can't go down, and he'll die. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. So you want to give him a kiss? Yeah. Yep, we yep, kissed yep, a lot of fish. Yep, it's yep, time yep. to kiss the biggest ever. Oh, oh that was a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> he said, "I ain't scared. I ain't scared." <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's gonna do it you know what i had a great time out there with captain cody dunn and simon we had a really good time trying to get those kids on some fish now 
it always doesn't work out as planned like our first stop we kind of wanted to see if we can catch some of those flounder because the flounders are just getting ready to start coming back in so we wanted to put the kids on some flounder but we were able to get them on uh, some small sand trout and a few croaker and then we had the bigger gear set we were going to head to go to the jetties but like i said it really doesn't work always work out this is this past tuesday and the fog was pretty thick so we stayed close and stayed in the channel where the fog wasn't really that thick and we cast out some pretty big lines and we were able to get one of the kids onto a big ugly now it was kind of funny because we literally said all right five ten minutes and then we got to pack it up we got to go and then not even two three minutes later the line just went off and that is and that is just a great treat to be able to see some of these young anglers hook up and teach them about fishing and teach them and show them about fish conservation so if you're not familiar with sea star base their link is in the description below sea star base galveston offers they offer sailing they offer kayaking they offer fishing through with captain cody dunn and his fishing program right now i'm involved with them on tuesdays i'll go out there and i volunteer and i just love absolutely love giving back and all the people there are just fantastic but i love giving back and going out there and helping cody whenever i get a chance and but on tuesdays he does have that school program for kids tuesday i think it starts like around 10 o'clock but it's for kids that are virtual learning and homeschool. Let them get out the house and come out and learn about fishing and fish conservation. Now, if you're interested in booking a charter trip through Sea Star Base, Captain Cody is your guy. So his link's below. You can hit him up on Facebook or hit or just simply call Sea Star Base Galveston and talk to somebody at the base there and they can give you all the details you need to book a charter remember all the charters right now they are covering the cost of a child to go to camp so they are starting up their summer camps pretty soon it's pretty cool pretty great thing to be part of i know i'll be out there volunteering as well but that is it that is all that we had today i really appreciate each and every one of you don't forget like comment subscribe share if you do like this video give us a thumbs up and like I said, check out Sea Star Base. You can follow them on social media platforms as well. Until next time, hopefully catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.